Welcome to Lethal Engineering. Today I'm going to show you how to build this, a 3D printed Millennium Falcon. I found the STL files for this Millennium Falcon on Thingiverse from a user named Jeffro. I've used his files in the past for my 3D printed Stormtrooper and Kylo Ren helmets. Each of the four pieces of this Millennium Falcon took a really long time to print, over a day each. The Creality CR10 did a great job with zero failures. I've started using the new Amazon PLA filament and have been really pleased with the results. I'll include all of my notable Cura print settings in the description down below. Let's pop that off the print bed. <laughs> uh, that's massive. Overall, I'm pretty pleased with how these prints turned out. They are very long prints and very tall prints, which leaves a lot of time for airs to develop, especially as you get higher up, you know, just a little bit of wobble will lead to very noticeable print lines. I've got all four pieces of the Millennium Falcon printed out, and now I need to just glue them all together. First, I'm gonna clean them up and sand down the edges so that the pieces go together nicely. I'm just going to be using regular super glue to glue these together as well as this uh, flat tile here so that I have a nice flat surface to push these pieces together. Alright, now let's glue the two bottom pieces together. So I let those pieces dry and it's actually holding together pretty well. I think it'd probably crack apart if I really tried, but uh, yeah, seems pretty firm and stiff. So now I need to attach the two halves together and then we'll have a completed Millennium Falcon. and uh, my head for uh, comparison size. Yeah, it's pretty big. Yeah, this guy's about 22 inches tall by 17 inches wide. So I got the Millennium Falcon all glued together and it is massive. Like I have to lean back so I can fit it all in the frame. The uh, quality is pretty solid. I used the new Amazon filament for three of the pieces and I really like how it turned out. It's certainly not perfect, there are a lot of imperfections, but it'll be good enough to look at from a distance. I thought about going through and finishing it up, sanding it down, but I think I have to remove a lot of the details doing that. Instead what I'm gonna do is go through and patch up all the seams in between the four pieces. And then I'll lightly sand that down so I have a nice transition between pieces. I've gone ahead and bought some uh, wood filler to fill in the cracks. I had used this 3M Acryl Green before and really wasn't pleased with the ease of use. So now I'm gonna try using just plain wood filler. I've applied that wood filler and now it just looks like I've smeared poop all over my nice white 3D print. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and paint this. I'm going to start with uh, a couple coats of filler primer and then a couple coats of gold. I've kind of developed a Donald Trump like asphyxiation. Asphyxiation? No. I've kind of developed a Donald Trump like fixation with the color gold. Here's the finished Millennium Falcon. It's a monster, and I love it. I've slowly got my Creality CR10 dialed in to where it produces great quality prints every time. I've got a little 3D printed Star Wars collection going in my office, and this Millennium Falcon will be a great addition. Thankfully, I picked up this hobby after getting married because my office is starting to look like Steve Carell's apartment in the 40-year-old version. Look at this place, man. What is she gonna think when she comes in here? Oh, look, he's got a billion toys. So what? 
Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you'll also enjoy some of my other videos. You can also subscribe down below to be notified of all my future projects. I'm currently working on a Captain Phasma helmet, as well as a life-size R2-D2. Stay tuned. Thank you.